Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing my 1,000 kilometer review of the 690 SMCR. Apologize, it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video. Uh, a couple things going on. One, uh, work's been pretty busy, so I haven't had a had a lot of opportunity to get out on the bike or or do anything to it. And the other thing is the weather has been kind of bad here the last few weeks, which is good. It's been a really hot summer and there's a lot of forest fires in, in BC at the moment, so um, nothing wrong with a little rain. Soak the forests a bit and hopefully save some of the people that are struggling with um, evacuations and being out of their homes, getting back into their homes. did film a couple videos, one on the Moto Pro graphics kit that I'll, I'll show you here when I find a good place to stop. I filmed an install video of that as well as a walk around and the video didn't turn out very well. I lost a bunch of the footage and the other thing was uh, it was just really shaky so it looked terrible and I thought better just to skip that video than, than to upload it and make everybody nauseous. So I'll give you a quick look at it and, and talk a bit about the install. It was uh, it was tough. I'm, I'm not the best with finicky things and it's pretty finicky. It's a really high quality product. I did do the first service. I did that at about 875 kilometers and that was a few weeks ago and I really haven't ridden much since. I actually took a, a motorcycle course shortly after doing that, which was primarily uh, low speed maneuvering, which was a lot of fun. It was a two day course, um, learned quite a bit, definitely learned a lot about the handling of the bike, just doing those slow maneuvers and uh, yeah, it was, it was well worth it. So I'm going to do my normal route here up Cypress Mountain, if you just saw the sign there. Just because it's close to my house and it's a, it's a fun ride. So to solve the shaky video I bought a gimbal. Uh, the Zayun Weeble S, which I've um, tried out just fooling around in the house, but haven't actually used to film a video, so I'm going to give that a shot once we get up to the top of Cyprus here. I do really need to find a, a better place to shoot. The, the parking lot at the top of Cyprus is not, not that scenic, but uh, it does, does leave lots of room, so probably do that again so yeah a thousand kilometers 1020 on the bike uh, still pretty pretty early but I do just really love this bike uh, I have very little to complain about on it particularly since putting on the wings exhaust which really really increased the power it was um, just a great mod as far as waking it, waking this bike up so highly recommend the power commander and the wings exhaust or or the arrow whatever you like better really and then the the small airbox kit with the with the storage compartment from raid garage like i said and that was probably my most popular video that really is the mod I wish that I had done first that just has made working on the bike and getting out things so much easier and so much nicer and that would have helped along the wings exhaust and the power commander certainly. So those mods were really the most critical. Everything else I've done is mostly aesthetics or convenience. 
like the seat concept seat which which I like I don't think it was totally needed but um, I do like it it's a nice seat it is really comfortable so no no regrets in getting that the one thing that does irritate me is no gas gauge and I've had bikes before without a gas gauge and you know I I don't hate it but I've been kind of spoiled with my BMW and a few Hondas that I've had that that all have gas gauges as well as a Kawasaki sports bike and this one I can just never remember when I filled up so the the gas light will come on and and yeah it's I mean it's a small annoyance and that's more just because I'm not paying attention than anything but yeah that'd be my only complaint some of the other things like an rpm gauge i don't really miss i don't really look at the rpm gauge for shifting the gear indicator would be nice but again not necessary you, you sort of go by feel anyway at least i do on shifting but i do actually have the barotech i think it's called the Kumpon dashboard assistant that I got from Germany and I'm going to install that and that has the gear indicator and the RPM so the ECU is providing that information through through the wiring harness it's just not not going into the dash so I'm looking forward to that it's a pretty small piece it mounts up here on on the handlebar so that'll be good that's again more just a convenience feature and and fun to have it's also got engine temperature and ambient temperature and a few other things so again yeah not totally necessary but but convenience and fun and I'm interested to see how it looks and I'll I'll probably split that into two videos one will be an install video Barotech has a uh, has an install video but it's in German and ich spreche nicht so good Deutsch so um, I'm gonna use that as long uh, along with the manual and I might uh, might do a video in English just in case that helps somebody else out so um, I'll do that and uh, and then I'll do another video where I just go over the dashboard assistant just because I think not everybody's going to want to watch a long video that combines you know a review and overview of the unit along with an install particularly if they're um, just trying to figure out if they're interested in it so I think I'll do that in two videos hopefully get that done tomorrow and then post those up in the next couple of weeks this summer's raced by so you know it'll be the end of riding season here probably on a regular basis anyway by the middle of October so I won't have a whole lot coming on bike stuff but I might throw in the odd other thing just things that I'm interested in I know I posted a watch video that wasn't too popular and that's fair enough it wasn't a very good video and there's better ones out there but um, I'll do that and I'll also do um, maybe a few other things like I got a mechanical keyboard that's coming in and I'm gonna do some modifications to that so I might post some videos on that um, I'm getting the drop alt I don't know if people are interested in, in tech type of stuff but I do like tech things mostly office tech I work at desk jobs so sitting at the desk a lot of the time and I uh, I work from home half of the time so I've got my setup at home and um, and a few things coming in I've got a Herman Miller chair so I'll probably post some of that stuff through the winter if you guys are interested in that let me know if you're really not interested in that maybe let me know that as well in the comments and then yeah I'll probably post some gear review videos
Yeah, back to the bike. I love this bike. It is by far the best bike I've ever owned as far as fun factor. Just a ton of aftermarket mods that you can do. And just really happy with it. It's just been a blast to work on and, and a blast to ride. I love the look. I love the handling. It's got enough power where I don't feel it's totally lacking, but it's um, but it's not anything you're going to get in too much trouble on either if you if you know what you're doing. So yeah, I'm just uh, super happy with it. It is a pricey bike, but uh, it does have some really nice components. So. Got the park ranger here. See, um, see what he thinks about me riding around here. I think he's more worried about the the people coming up here to race and uh, and do that stuff, which I'm not going to do today. Obviously, I was going to maybe do some wheelie practice, but we'll not do that while he is here. So yeah, I'll give you guys a, um, a look at the bike, walk around it, I'll get out my gimbal, see how that works out, and yeah, show you guys what I've done to it, and some of the things that you've seen, and some that you haven't, and, and give you a close look at this, uh, at this graphics kit. So here's the bike with all the mods to 1,000 kilometers. I've got the Wings exhaust and Power Commander 5, the Raid Garage storage kit with the small air intake, and the Moto Pro Works graphics kit. I went with this graphics kit because I thought something a bit garish and, and loud suited the bike. There are a few other options. Some are a bit more plain, but I thought this suited the, the character of the bike. Being a bit of a hooligan bike, I wanted it to make a bit of a statement, so I went with this graphics kit. The install was difficult, um, as I mentioned earlier, but I think it came out okay. Just looking at the the walk around here, you might see the odd bubble here or there, and to be honest, I'm fine with it. I don't think I would have spent too much more time trying to wrestle with that to, to get it right. Here's a look at the seat concept seat. It's the comfort seat, the regular seat. In my video on, on that seat, I talk about the, the quality of it, and it is really well made. It's a good looking seat. It, it is comfortable. I don't know that I really needed it necessarily, but, but I do like it. The clutch reservoir and brake reservoir from the KTM Power Parts catalog. Here's a close up on the graphics kit. You might be able to see the odd bubble here and there. Like I said, um, it was difficult to get those out and, and my patience was limited. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll live with it. It's not super noticeable and they are flattening out over time. I've also done the Rottweiler SAS Delete. The SAS Delete certainly cleans up the right side of the bike. You can see that here. The cover plate covered off one of the valves on the right side, and it frees up a lot of space just in front of the rear shock. If you guys have any questions on any of these parts or installs or anything, please leave those below and I'll, I'll get back to you. I've got the Vanash Motorsports case saver. I've also done the TST Industries tail tidy, the Super Mo Fools LED headlight, as well as TST front indicators. The rear indicators are integrated into the TST tail tidy. Here's a final look at the bike. I'm pretty happy with all of the modifications I've done to date. I think it looks pretty good. I do love the bike. I'm sure I'll keep tweaking it as the years go on, but... But for now, I'm pretty happy with it. If you guys think there's anything else I should do or, or anything you like or don't like, let me know in the comments. I do really love this bike. It is 
amazing if you're watching this to think about whether you should purchase it I would absolutely recommend this bike um, you know it is a bit pricey here in Canada it's 13,000 I think they knocked about 500 bucks off the price for me so 12.5 which is a lot of money for a, a fairly basic bike but when you look at the components on this bike with the Brembo brakes and you know the Apex WP suspension this 690 LC4 is it engine is um, is tried and tested it's been around for a long time they keep tweaking it and perfecting it and I do just really love the bike it's got enough performance without too much and uh, you know it's got a quick shifter it's got traction control and riding modes so easy to work on yeah I mean I just really can't uh, can't describe how, how much I love this bike I really I really don't regret the purchase and if you're thinking about it for a fun bike that can do you know a lot of things I think if you're looking for a bike to use in the dirt then I'd probably go the Enduro R but this I bought this as a pure street bike I am not gonna put anything but the street tires on these rims I think they're just the front tire for sure is just way too small for any sort of off-road and I think if you're doing hardcore off-road then you know maybe the XC is a better bike anyway than than the 690 but yeah great bike absolutely love it thousand kilometers in still just so impressed with it and always guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions please leave those below and if you want to see more videos from me please consider subscribing thanks for watching